Mineral field depleted. Minerals. Mineral fields are blue crystals, which yield five minerals when harvested by workers. Create two workers to gather from each mineral field. Mineral field depleted. Mules will always generate income, even if you have three workers harvesting a mineral field. Once a mineral field is depleted, it can no longer be harvested from. Rich minerals. Rich mineral fields are yellow crystals, which yield seven minerals when harvested instead of five. Since workers harvest minerals faster from rich mineral fields, they deplete faster as well. Vespian geysers. Vespian geysers require a refinery, a simulator, or extractor to be created on them before workers can harvest Vespian gas. Create three workers to gather from each Vespian geyser. Once a Vespian geyser is depleted, it can no longer be harvested from. Rich Vespian geysers. Rich Vespian geysers expel purple gas, which yield eight gas when harvested instead of four. Since workers harvest gas faster from rich Vespian geysers, they deplete faster as well. To move a unit, you must first select it. Use your mouse and left click on the unit to select it. Now that you have the unit selected, right click on the ground to order the unit to move somewhere. To move several units at once, first select the units by holding down the left mouse button and dragging the selected box around your units and then releasing the left mouse button. To change your view, move your mouse cursor to the edge of the screen. When your mouse touches the edge of the screen, your view will move to that direction. You can also use the minimap to shift your view to any part of the battlefield. Simply left click on a minimap to jump into the new location. To attack an enemy, select your units and right click on the enemy. During the attack, you can mouse over the enemy units to see the bar representing their life. A unit is destroyed when its hit points reach zero. You can also mouse over your own units to keep an eye on the health bars. To make an attack move command, left click on the attack button from the command card while the units are selected, and then left click on the ground where you want your units to go. This will allow you to engage any enemies along the way. Fog of War Fog of War limits players visions to what their units and structures can see. When a player loses vision of an area, enemy units can't be seen and structures are shown in a last seen state and location. If a player is attacked by an enemy that can't be seen, they will be shown the attacking unit that they can't retaliate until they have vision. Example. If a siege tank is attacking outside of your vision, the siege tank is displayed briefly through the fog of war. Zelnaga Towers These ancient towers provide a large sight radius when they are activated by a player's unit. Only ground units can activate Zelnaga Towers. If an enemy unit approaches, the tower becomes contested and it will not provide a vision until it is under a single player's control again. High Ground and Low Ground You must have vision of high ground in order to attack units on a high cliff level. Units on a higher ground appear through the fog of war if they attack you, but you can't counterattack unless you have vision of the high ground. To gain vision of high ground, you need a ground unit on high ground or a flying unit to act as a spotter. Smoke billows and bushes. These sight blockers hide whatever is behind them from ground units. 
Ground units must stand inside or walk through sight blockers to see what is on the other side. Air units are not affected and can act as spotters for ground units to see through or into the sight blockers. Acceleration Zone Generators These ancient generators speed up movement speeds of all ground and air units within the generator field by 35%. Acceleration zones do not affect unit attack speeds. Inhibitor zone generators. These ancient generators slow down movement speeds of all ground and air units within the generated field by 35%. Inhibitor zones do not affect unit attacking speeds. Rocks and debris. These rocks are placed in areas to prevent construction or block paths. They take some effort to destroy due to their increased life and armor. Destructible rocks cannot be repaired or constructed once destroyed. Lorencio, you filthy sewer mermaid, Mr. Hanky, steaming piece of shit. I love you and hate you at the same time. Oh, you glorious game-breaking mother trucker.